Hi everyone, Russell here from The Presenter, hope you're well. Really useful tip for all the Prezi users out there, I want to quickly show you how you can fully customise the look and feel of the overview screen on your Prezi. So that's the screen that you always return back to, some people call it the dashboard, the home page, but the official terminology is the overview screen. And Prezi does a really good job at helping you be creative by suggesting lots and lots of useful templates when you get started, but you can still customize those even further. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so here I am on the Prezi website and of course logged into my own account. I'm going to create a Prezi from a template and I could start from a blank template if I wanted to, but I would highly recommend that if you want to save uh, an awful lot of time actually building your first Prezi presentation, that you scroll through and have a look at some of these fantastic templates to choose from. Now, for this example, I'm going to use this post-it note example. So I'm going to select that template, choose use this template at the bottom and that will load up my Prezi. And then as we can see straight away, I'm logged into the Prezi software. I can now see the user interface. Uh, all of the different topic covers are list listed down the left hand side. For those of you who aren't a Prezi user yet, a topic cover is merely uh, the visual we use to represent a topic area, so an area of content. Now in this particular design, each of the different areas that you can zoom into to reveal more content is represented by a different colored post-it note. So it's a really, really nice template. And if I wanted to, I could just manually zoom in here, start adding some content, add some text, add some video, whatever it may be, and zoom back out. So actually there's not that much editing I would need to do to build a really impressive Prezi presentation using this template. It's a tremendous time saver. But what if I do want to customize this and make it more of my own? Well of course I can add as much as I want into here. So if I go into the insert menu and click on image, one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a couple of images that I've actually created uh, outside of the Prezi software. So I just chopped these out earlier on. One of them is a mug and I'm going to place this mug on the desk. Now I should probably add that these are PNG files. So uh, that means I have chopped them out using, uh, you could do it using Adobe Photoshop. I've actually used a great website called remove.bg. So a really useful tip for you there. That website will remove the backgrounds from images for you really, really quickly. I'm gonna bring in another image now and uh, this is actually a birthday card. So as you can see, I'm just trying to make the desk a bit more of my own. And if I wanted to, I could find um, a photograph of my wife and children or maybe Honey the office dog. I could drop that into a picture frame and put that on my desk as well. It could be that um, on the mug I have my company logo. That would be really, really easy to drop in. So I'm customizing a really nicely designed template that was already in place for me. Now, customizing the look and feel is one thing, but what if we actually wanted to zoom into the mug to reveal more content? Well, at the moment, all of our content sections are set up as post-it notes. That's kind of the default design for this particular template, but we can change that. So that's what I wanna show you right now. Up here in the top left-hand corner, we can click on the topic button and you'll see straight away that that will give us a brand new post-it note on the right hand side of the screen. Now I'm just gonna bring this into the center for now. I'm not gonna to worry too much about positioning and I'll just make this a little bit larger so we can see. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to replace that post-it note image with the image of my mug so that as well as the mug just being on the desk, 
when we come to actually present this Prezi, we can click on it and we can zoom in to the mug to reveal more content. And there's really no limit to where you can go with this. So again, if I did bring in an image of my uh, wife and children, I could zoom into them. That could be an area of content. I could have a mobile phone or an iPad on my desk as well, and I could zoom into those to reveal content. Once you get that Prezi mindset in place, you'll realize that there's actually no limit to where you can take your audience. So let's show you how this is done. What I've got here is a brand new section that I created a second ago. I'm going to right click on that new section and I'm going to use the right terminology here. I'm going to right click on that topic cover and I'm going to choose an option which is called advanced topic editing. And if you like using the shortcut keys, it's Control E on a PC or Command E on a Mac. So I'm going to click on that. And what we'll see here, and I'll just zoom in to give you a, a better view, is that the topic cover is now live and we can edit this. So I can click onto the post-it note image and I can move that around. I could shrink it or make it larger. I could edit the text. So those are the cover images. They represent how this particular topic looks on the screen. And then this rectangle around the outside, if I just click on this, you'll see that it now says topic zoom area. So this is the amount of space that we actually zoom into and fill the screen with when we're presenting. And that will probably become a bit clearer in a second as well. Now, what I'm going to do is just come out of this menu. I'm going to click on my mug here and I'm going to do Control X on my keyboard, which is to cut that image away. So that image is now in the clipboard ready to be pasted somewhere. I'm going to go back to the topic cover that I want to edit, choose the advanced topic editing option or Control E, and I'm going to delete the post it note. I'll leave the text where it is for now, but now I'm going to do Control V and you'll see that the mug, although very, very small, has been pasted in and I'm just going to scale the mug up so that we can see it. Now what I'm also going to do is click on the zoom area and I'm going to decide where we actually zoom to. So do I want to see all of the mug when I zoom in? I probably do. Do I just want to see a portion of the mug when I zoom in? Or do I want to see none of the mug at all and just zoom into a blank space next to it? Well, for me, for this particular example, I'm going to see the entire mug and I'm going to make sure that the mug is nice and central to the area that I zoom into. I'm going to click outside of that so I come out of topic editing and now I'm going to move the mug back over here on the left hand side to its original position. Now what I've done there very quickly is I've actually edited the topic cover so that the mug you can see here is no longer just a PNG image on the overview screen. It is now a clickable section that we can zoom into and add more content inside. So just to show you what I mean, if I hit the present button up in the top right now, what you'll see now is a much better way of working, I think. If you click on the mug, you zoom into the mug and you see the mug. Now apologies for the pixelated image that I've got here, but you get the idea. Obviously we would spend a lot more time getting much better imagery, but you can now see the mug. The mug stays where it is. And I think that's a really, really nice way of keeping the audience anchored to the overview or the big picture of your presentation. So again, if I go back to edit mode, you can now see down here on the bottom left, I've got my additional section. And if I zoom into it, I can now add extra sections inside of here. Now these are all represented with post-it notes because this is just the way the template has been set up. But I can drop these wherever I want. And maybe I don't want those to be post-it notes. Maybe those subsections could be images of sugar cubes. 
uh, or a spoon or whatever else you like to have with your morning coffee. Uh, it's entirely up to you, but that's the beauty of Prezi. It's really, really easy to edit things with a simple right click. You just need to find those options and then go to advanced topic editing, change the imagery and away you go. So I hope that makes sense. Chances are if you have used Prezi for a little while, then you may be thinking to yourself, yes, this is the video I've been looking for because you've never edited the look and feel of a template before and that's great. Do let me know in the comments below if that is you. If you've never used Prezi before and you're thinking this looks really interesting and I'd love to present in this way, or maybe you're just tired of using PowerPoint slides, then do get in touch with me because this subject and many more are the focus of our Prezi Beginners intro sessions that I'll be running personally across the country in 2020. We'll have some workshops set up very, very soon in Bristol. We will have some London dates available as well. So please keep an eye out for those and feel free to comment below if you would love me to come to your city. Uh, wherever you are in the UK or overseas and I'll see what we can do. But I hope you found that useful and please comment below to let me know whether you found it useful or not and if you've been able to implement that. Please feel free to share your Prezi designs with me as well and I'll see you soon.